Alrighty. We. I don't know what kind of food they have in that uh, place. I've never been to Mermaid's Cafe, but we are out here at Lou Cap Wharf here in Alamino City or just north of Alamino City. And we are in search of a place to dine for lunch. So, we're a little hungry. What do you think, hon? It is the same place. Okay. Here's some, oh. You're doing some work over there, I take it? Yeah, mixing concrete. So yeah, we're uh, we're not really here to go out to the 100 Islands <laughs> per se, but we are looking for something to eat. We've been to the Maxines out here a few times, and we've never been to Mermaids. But I'm thinking what we'll do is probably go to the Island Tropic Hotel, which is right around the corner over here. There's the, the tree out in the middle of the parking lot. I think there are some people here. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty mellow. Pretty mellow around this area. That's for sure. Pretty quiet. There it is. As you're coming in here, Island Tropic Hotel and Restaurant is right here on the right hand side. Their food is pretty good. We come here frequently. And it sounds like it's busy. I don't usually hear the people upstairs whenever we come here. Looks like they got a few people here today. Well, anyways, here it is, the Island Tropic Hotel and Restaurant. Food is pretty good um, and reasonably priced. So I think we're gonna go and sit down and check it out. All right, we'll hook up again after this. What did you order, hon? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you recording? Yes, I am. What did you order, hon? Huh? Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I'm hungry since last night. Yeah, well, I mean, as in, I don't know if I can pronounce what you just said, but all right. I ordered. Let me see. I ordered fish fillets and. What's that? Pork adobo. Okay. Kept it pretty simple. <laughs> they didn't have any calamari. They don't have any calamari, so that kind of blows. But oh well, do what you got to do. It's not the it's not the season. It's sweet, I think. Yeah. So, anyways, there you go. There's the big old 100 Islands Island Traffic Hotel and Restaurant. Your first step to a 100. It looks like. Uh, there's a map of the area. And this is a hotel, so um, we've got a roof deck up there. I've never been up there. And then I think some rooms down there. Let's get up and walk around just a little bit. 
So we're up on the second floor, of course, and then we're looking down here. And I guess the rooms are, you know, down that way. There's a bathroom down there. I've never stayed here, so I couldn't tell you how much it costs to stay here, what the rooms are like, or anything like that. However, if I do end up staying here for whatever reason, I will uh, make sure to share the experience with you. So anyways, the way it works here is that when you come in, they give you this little uh, menu uh, uh, available items at the restaurant. So yeah, this is basically their menu and how much of the unit price with the item itself. So I got the, let me see, what did I get today? Got the fish, got the fish fillet, and that costs 160 pesos for the serving of fish. And then I got the pork adobo, which comes to a 180. So that's basically everything right here. I take this one. She grabbed the, uh, what did you order? This one comes with soup, with, uh, with the tamarind juice. Okay, it comes with soup? Yeah, All right. and some vegetables. Gotcha. And then I got the, another one, pinakbet down there with the vegetable. Mixed okay. vegetable with the fish sauce. Alrighty. Cooked with this. So, so there's your selection. Here's the back. It's basically your soft drinks, water, and your dessert. So yeah. So you come in here and you just X off what you want, quantity, whatever, and then you hand it to the waitress or waiter and they'll take it and go cook it up for you. Again, Island Trap. Island Tropic, Island Tropic Hotel and Restaurant. The total damage for that came to about 835 pesos. That's for four entrees. Uh, let me see, four entrees. Uh, three sides of rice, two sodas, two cokes. And that uh, came to 835 pesos. Food's not bad. I guess if I had only one criticism, the uh, fat to uh, the pork fat uh, to meat ratio on the pork adobo is a little high. Quite a bit of fat there on that one, but the sauce was great. Everything else was great. Um, all in all, pretty pretty decent. Good place. So yeah, come check it out if you ever get a chance. If you're in the area, stop by and have a bite. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you soon. All right. Bye bye.